Female genital mutilation. The circumlocution for this is circumcision. It involves cutting off part of the genitals. So let's call it what it is, mutilation. And it's done to boys too. I've heard the excuse that this isn't anything to do with Islam, but it is. If you look at islamqa.info slash en slash 60314, it says, Circumcision is not an inherited custom, as some people claim. Rather, it is prescribed in Islam, and the scholars are unanimously agreed that it is prescribed. Not a single Muslim scholar, as far as we know, has said that circumcision is not prescribed. The hadith narrated by Al-Bukhari 5889 and Muslim 257 from Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet said, The fitra is five things, or five things are part of the fitra. Circumcision, shaving the pubes, cutting the nails, plucking the armpit hairs, and trimming the moustache. This hadith includes circumcision of both males and females. So what are the opinions of the scholars? 1. That it is obligatory for both males and females. This is the view of the Shafis and Hanbalis, and is the view favoured by al Quad Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi among the Malikis? 2. That circumcision is Islamic duty for both males and females. 3. That circumcision is obligatory for men and is good and recommended for women. So... It isn't just an African custom. Female genital mutilation is a part of Islam. Doctors say that it's harmful, both physically and psychologically. Muslims say, we don't care what doctors say. If it came from Muhammad, then it must be good. Female genital mutilation is Islamic. Myth. Busted.